Channel 5 News in 60 is supported by Davis Law Firm. More than 53,000 troops are heading out to the Middle East as the situation remains uneasy after Iranian's top General Qassem Soleimani was killed in an airstrike Friday by the U.S. The new leader of Iran's Revolutionary Guard sending out another threat, threatening to set ablaze places supported by the United States over Soleimani's killing. Chevron evacuated all of its American oil workers from Iraq following last week's U.S. airstrike. The company calls it a precautionary measure. All of its American employees and contractors left. Local staff are now overseeing Chevron's ongoing operations. ExxonMobil also has operations in Iraq. They are closely monitoring the situation. Back here in Texas, nearly $2 billion in Texas taxpayer money is now set aside to prevent flooding in our state. The money will be rerouted out of the rainy day fund for flood research and future projects. The move was laid out in Senate Bill 7. We are told the money can also be used to match federal funds available for flood research. Your forecast for today, partly cloudy and breezy with highs in the upper 60s. That's your news in 60. Have a great Tuesday. Channel 5 News in 60 is supported by Davis Law Firm.